What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy, Nadge. All right, so you guys see this big-ass box right here? The one that's almost the size as me, right? Not really. Listen, this bad boy is carrying six months of blood, sweat, and tears into making a carbon fiber replacement for this piece of shit they call a rear diffuser. It took me so long to figure out exactly how I want this diffuser to look just because I don't want it to look as generic as all these other carbon diffusers. A couple of features, some really sharp, aggressive, big square fins. I got something designed to my absolute perfect taste. And I think it goes well with this spoiler that I designed a while back, if you guys remember as well, right? Without further ado, let's get this open. Let's see how it looks, how it fits. And let's see if the last five months of work went to complete shit. All right, let's go. If you remember on my previous B9S5, I really wanted a diffuser and I already started the prototyping and the design for it and had the mold get uh, started already. And during that phase, I actually bought the RS5. So I did still continue the project for the S5 diffuser and the RS5 obviously is a different fitment, different bumper, so it had to be separate. So I got both of those in here, but there will be a second video once I can get a hold of my old S5 from my buddy and do a test fitment on that. But for today, it's going to be just the RS5. So we have diffuser number one, and then we got diffuser number two. All right, so let's open up this bad boy. Please don't be broken, please don't be broken, please don't be broken, please don't be broken, please don't, oh my God. Yo, look at this beast. Yo, what? Okay, yo, I cannot wait no more. Look at this. Look at this, dude. This looks amazing. All the way factory sizing around the exhaust, the oval tips. We got these features here, these blades on the side. And I got a really big fin going around the top as well as individual ones going down the bottom. I'm more of like a four fin kind of guy. I don't know why three fins just look sometimes kind of weird. I love my four fins and I love this big fin overlay that we got running across the top. Let's flip this over. So look at the details on these clips, dude. That was by far the biggest pain in the fucking ass of a diffuser to take off that I've ever done in my whole entire life. I literally have like battle scars, like my fingers are bleeding and shit. Listen, let me tell you something, dude. These clips hold on to dear life inside this fucking bumper. If you guys have extra time on your hands one weekend, do yourself a favor, okay? And just take the whole entire bumper off to replace this valence, all right? Now, as far as some quick context on how this comes off. So the first step is removing these um, nuts that hold the bottom of the diffuser into the chassis. You have one over here, and then the second one is right here, okay? Once those two are removed, there are these little metal clips, as you can see. You have four of them total. These are attached to this side of the diffuser, like this, and like this as well. And that is on these two points, and that is on both sides of a diffuser. So you have four of them total that you need to deal with. Um, and you have to take, you have to keep these clips to put them on the carbon fiber one to keep the same mounting points. Now, after you take off the last clip, there is this um, sensor that runs across the bottom of the diffuser. So you're gonna have to use double-sided mounting tape to uh, install it on the new diffuser. But just to give you a little um, context, it literally just clips in along these um, little tabs. And again, that's for if you have the feature where you kick for the trunk lid to, uh, to automatically open. Now, before putting a diffuser on, uh, keep in mind, you might be shocked on how much little like dust and sand and gravel and stuff that is um, kind of just floating around inside of your mounting points. So make sure you give that a good rub all the way across. Now here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take some double-sided mounting tape. I'm gonna run it across the bottom of this sensor, just like this. All right. Now since that's off, let's take our diffuser. Let's mount it on. And you just wanna mount it back pretty much in the same position 
as it was uh, on the factory valence. Mm. Give it some firm uh, pressure all the way down just to make sure that it attaches correctly. Okay, so um, actually the first step when you install a carbon diffuser, there is the section, and I'm gonna pull it out for demonstration, uh, right, where is it? Right here, right? This little fork. This little fork is the first thing that you need to align because if that goes in properly, okay, on both sides, that means the rest should snap right into place. But if it doesn't, let's say you missed it and this is just gonna be out flapping and it's not gonna attach right and neither will um, the rest of your clips as far as alignment. So you wanna make sure first that this um, part is in the wedge for it. And then you wanna secure that side, go over to the other side, do the same thing. Then as you're doing that, you can't forget that uh, you have these, where are they, these little pins, right? Um, these little pins with the washer must align too. And if you uh, don't push this in all the way and you try to install the rest of the clips, it's gonna give you some resistance up top. Yo, honestly, I cannot believe my eyes right now. This looks like it's going to look insane. Let's hope the rest of these clips fit in well and um, we'll find out. So real quick, Make sure that those sections are in properly. Okay, make sure that you have no resistance at the bottom as far as those pins go. And then you wanna start working your way in. There we go, you hear that? You hear that fitment, guys? Yo, check this out, this looks so good, dude. My reverse engineering skills prove to be sufficient once again, this was one of the hardest diffusers that I had to design. And also while designing, I made sure to match these, um, the big fin that goes around. I made sure that matches somewhat with the fins that I made on the spoiler um, from previously. So I think these two match up really well. And I seriously love the way they look. Now what you see here is obviously the biggest part of the diffuser, right? I made a three piece kit, right? Now what these two side pieces are is they are flares for um, the right and left side of the diffuser. Now the diffuser setup can be ran with or without it. So if you like the way this looks just fine, you don't have to add these. But if you have maybe some side skirts or you're thinking about getting side skirts, these are a great accent to match up with the rest of your future modifications. Ooh, almost dropped it. Okay, okay. And even these side pieces too, I have a mold number um, to make sure that it matches up always with the master diffuser that you see here at the bottom. We are going to add a strip of double-sided mounting tape on the side. So I'm gonna get these drilled in and then we're gonna go from there. Now, why did I make a carbon diffuser to begin with? Now, the RS5 platform doesn't really have that many options of diffusers. I mean, you have a couple that look sub-generic, just like any other diffuser um, that you would see. None of them really appealed to me at all. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna design my own piece so Euro Impulse can sell them and I can have the piece on my car that I think looks absolutely killer, right? Another thing too I really like about this diffuser is how much it matches up with the spoiler that I have on top. Now you guys know I did design that one from scratch as well. Now per usual, I do appreciate the time you guys took to watch this video. I wanna know what you think though. Do you think it looks better without the side flares, just the single piece diffuser? Or do you think the three piece looks nicer? Let me know down in the comments. Um, I will post a link for whenever um, Euro Impulse will be ready for you know launching these, but I am the guinea pig. So I will post a link down below. If you're interested in pre-ordering, you can check out that link. I'm gonna be having more parts for this car sometime in the next couple of months. You guys see how long it takes to design one freaking piece. I got more videos coming for the diffuser reveal on the B5 S4, on the RS6, and on the B9 S5. So don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button to um, get updated for when those videos drop. Yeah, hopefully we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.